The following program was provided by an independent producer solely responsible for its content. The opinions expressed do not necessarily represent the views of this station, its staff, board of directors, or underwriters. Welcome to The People's View, a program dedicated to discussing local, state, and national issues and their effect on the American people. The People's View provides a platform for state representatives and national figures to present their viewpoint. Whether it's social, economic, or financial topics, you'll hear it on The People's View. Hello, I'm Carl Seidel, host of The People's View, and today we're going to talk to Ken Siegel. Ken, welcome aboard, and Thanks, I understand you're running for Alderman in Ward 9. Yes, sir, absolutely. How, how do you like that? How uh, did you get been, into it? Um, it's been fascinating. Uh, I've been walking around a lot, talking uh -huh. to people, and uh, it's very surprising how nice people are. Uh -huh. uh, also surprising uh, how many doorbells don't work. I end up uh, <laughs> rapping on a lot of doors, but... Uh, it's, uh, the reception's been quite good. That's good. Really, uh, really a good experience so uh -huh. far. Well, this is a nice town. You've been here 30 years Yes, now, sir. And, yeah. Uh, so you have experience. You have more than I do uh, uh, in Nashua, but I love this town. Well, I, I, pre I predate the Pheasant Lane Mall, so that's like a, a good cutoff. Oh, I see. <laughs> okay. Well, I was down in uh, Massachusetts for a good number of years before I came up here. Yeah, sorry to hear that. But, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, I think a lot of people migrated up here. Uh, Tell us a little bit about your background and why you're interested in uh, running for an office now. Uh, I spent the most, most of my career as a high-tech entrepreneur, a mm -hmm. software architect. Mm -hmm. Started a number of high-tech companies um, going back to the, the 80s. Mm -hmm. so my first, uh, I got into networking in 1987, well mm -hmm. before the advent mm -hmm. of, of the internet. Mm -hmm. um, and I was involved in doing products uh, from the 80s on up to um, my last company, which ended up going public in uh, 2000, a um, company called Arrowpoint Communications, where I was the lead software architect. Mm -hmm. I have eight patents from, from doing that. Mm -hmm. And uh, we went public, got bought by Cisco, and as part of that, I, I worked for them for another couple of years. And, mm -hmm. uh, and then I, I was frankly a little burned out on that and decided to spend more time with my, my, uh, my children. Good. And uh, do other things. So, so now you decided, though, uh, you need to get a little taste of uh, how Nashua is run. Well, I've 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 followed politics for uh -huh. some time, but um, I decided that uh, after 30 years of looking at what's going on downtown, I, I wasn't really happy about the way problems were being solved. Mm -hmm. The the types of input it just just seemed like uh, the board of aldermen was somewhat neutered. Um, the the skew on the board of aldermen really there weren't an, people that uh, understood uh, business, the, the way things, money flows mm -hmm. a little bit. And, and I think that's valuable. I'm not putting people down. Everybody has their own uh, opinions and experiences. I, I just think that the city's better served when people can provide some input, which is pretty important if you're talking about a budget of millions and millions of dollars and uh, a mayor that doesn't really want to receive any input. Mm -hmm. So I was mm -hmm. not too happy about that. So you think that's what you can bring to it? You'll have more uh, input from the people? Uh, well, I've been talking to a lot of people, but I, and, and I am surprised at the amount of discontent mm -hmm. what's going on downtown. People can see that um, right now uh, the mayor really is sort of running the show her own way, and she may think she's doing the right thing. I just don't think it's healthy for city government. Uh, I recently testified before the Board of Aldermen about the CVS deal. Mm -hmm. um, it's one of the things that got me into the race, looking at how that was constructed and, and, uh, and poorly done. It wasn't for the benefit of the taxpayers of Nashua. I could see that. Uh, the downtown sidewalk projects, I just don't agree. Having uh, uh, started a company that develops restaurants and mm -hmm. done a, a variety of real estate deals and built buildings, uh, I just don't see that it's, it's being run properly. Um, I think that the public works people are trying. It's probably not the most effective use of the taxpayers' dollars. And after all said and done, it's our dollars that really should sure, make decisions. Sure. So. Do you think that was made just to make sure she had some work for her people, the people that were hired by the? You know, I really don't want to speculate. Mm -hmm. I, I, although one thing I will say is, by putting it under the auspices of the public works department, it bypasses the board of aldermen. Mm. Um, uh, 
not having it bid by a commercial entity, I think, was a, a really big mistake. I think that there's change orders that are going on, and quite a significant number of them, which are not uh, being reviewed. And anybody that's done any kind of construction knows that change orders not only are incredibly expensive, but they're very demoralizing for the people actually work on a project. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And, and, and it just feeds together to, to create an atmosphere of, of more likely failure than success. And at the very least, it becomes very expensive. Mm -hmm. and, and, and that's not okay. There's no reason for that. So you look at it from the standpoint of, of business, where you're looking at the detail over the whole project plan and, and making sure that it's spelled out right and you don't... Well, have... there's two parts. There, it, there's the initial decision right. whether or not you think it's even the right thing to do. Mm -hmm. And you know, setting that aside, if you're going to do something, you really want to do it in a way that maximizes your opportunity for success mm -hmm. and also does it in a cost-effective manner, which mm -hmm. is also a key metric of success. Mm -hmm. um, if you're a taxpayer, uh, uh, you know, you're not going to want to spend twice as much for something. That's not successful no matter how nice it looks. So um, whether or not the sidewalks needed to be done to that level, I'm not convinced of that. But if the rest of the people decided that that's what they wanted, that the Ward 9 residents wanted that all be well and good, then let's at least put it out to bid, get a professional contractor on the job with appropriate cost controls mm -hmm. and public review by the Board of Aldermen on the mm -hmm. money that's going in and mm -hmm. out. None of that's going on, and that's a big problem. I think it's not healthy for the city. Mm -hmm. And I, I love the city, and the reason I'm running is because I love the city. Wow. Uh, I have no higher political aspirations. Uh -huh. I really don't. Um, but I think that it's important to get involved in a positive way, to sit at home and throw rocks at the TV when you hear a newscast of things you don't like is all well and good. It mm -hmm. might make you feel better, mm -hmm. but it doesn't help solve a problem. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, I've had a pretty long career of solving problems. I'm an engineer by training. Mm -hmm. So we, we want to get people together and it becomes a sort of like a personality neutral set of decisions. Look, we have a problem here, yeah. and let's solve the problem. It's like the Apollo 13 scene. My favorite scene of any movie oh, is really? they take that, that pile of stuff. They're yeah. like, we need to take this pile of stuff and turn it into this. <laughs> you know? And we have X amount of time to do it. And, and that's uh, a microcosm of the types of decision making that has to go on. Mm. You know, the personalities, you don't want personalities to get in the way. Mm -hmm. So I don't look at, say, is somebody a Democrat or they a Republican? You know, what do you have to offer to help solve a problem which is of interest to the voters of Ward 9 and Nashua as a whole? And how do you plan on getting your feedback from your voters and uh, you know, communicating with them? Uh, I've been going around actually knocking on doors mm -hmm. and talking to people directly. So I'm a, I'm a much bigger fan of person-to-person -person communication, um, it, which is ironic because uh, my greatest successes have been uh, with creating uh, internet products, <laughs> which sort of kind of obviate the need for that. And, and uh, I, I just don't think that that's appropriate. I think most communication that's effective is done point to point. I with agree real with people you there. Yeah. Exchanging real ideas. And, and it's been just fascinating some of the stuff that people come up with, the different ideas, and the, the things that people show me I'd never know. I uh -huh. talked to some person for like 20 minutes, and you know, we talked like five minutes about political stuff, but then he started to show me these incredible boats that he'd made by hand. Oh, really? It's like, I would never have known about that. We went on <laughs> about that. But I think that's just a valuable experience. It's, yeah, it's kind of nice. It, you know, it you have the human element that you would never have in a sterile environment of just email and, and web communication. Mm. So uh, the, what, uh, do you have a, an organization helping you, or are you all no. by yourself? I, I refuse to take money from anybody. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Um, I have no organizations that are helping me. I have close friends that are helping me, uh -huh. just you know, walking around. Um, obviously, I'd like people to help me with holding signs. If you know, there's sign locations, um, I have uh, my email is uh, ken at kensiegel.com. Uh -huh. Please send me an email, uh, okay. any questions or comments, and I'd be happy to drop by. But every one of my sign locations that you see around Ward 9 is me talking directly to somebody. I don't just throw, throw signs yeah, out there. Yeah. Well, I think that's good. You, ha you have to get the communication, because people in your ward will talk to each one another. That's uh, your, that's your uh, way of getting publicity, in a way. Yeah. Um, Hopefully, but, it, but it, it's not even a question of trying to drum up publicity as much it is, as it is. I'm asking people to vote for me. Right. They have a right to meet me. Mm -hmm. They have a right to mm -hmm. ask me questions. There are people that have launched out and just gone on, on screeds and tirades you know, about certain things. And you know what? They have a right to do that. Mm -hmm. um, I'm supposed to represent them. 
and whatever's on their mind, good, bad, or indifferent, it's important to hear that. You know? no, it, it is, but uh, sometimes they have erroneous information, and it's also an opportunity for you to maybe correct uh, their uh, Sometimes. Um, you be, um, so people are often, that, that's very true. The, the interesting thing is the erroneous information about my opponent. Uh, oh. Some people thought, for example, he's the incumbent. Yeah. Um, the majority of people don't even know that he was once an alderman, but they see the signs like, well, he's the incumbent. We want the incumbent gone. Well, I think he just pulled those signs from his basement because uh, he's <laughs> not really the incumbent right now, just so you know. Past the... Uh, yeah, yeah. So, uh, I, so I think that, that's that, that fascinating. That's that you have to... But well, I think we run into a lot of incidences where people just have the wrong uh, view, whether it's local or national type of, uh, they don't understand the whole situation. I think uh, you're willing to talk to people uh, to explain your point of view and why, why you take a stance on whatever issues. I, I try to, and I try to be open-minded. And right. uh, I think it's, like I said, very important for, to listen. A lot of people's concerns are extremely local, people saying, Look at the street here. The drainage is no good. Mm -hmm. I've walked up and down New Searles, mm -hmm. uh, out, outside New Searles Elementary School, uh, because I've been told that they're speeding and it's a danger. And so I've gone there before and after school and actually watched the car speed by. I was on Alice Gibson's lawn watching. Oh, really? I said, yeah, you know, I'll, yeah, absolutely. We got to. So we talked about possible solutions to that problem. That's a very, very localized problem, but that stuff's important. Well, that's what you're there for. Exactly. Yeah. I mean, what, my views on things like Obamacare or the current situation yeah. in Congress, while they may be interesting to people, they're, they're not particularly relevant to what I can right. do in my position as an alderman. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to try to focus on uh, the local things that I can change for the good mm -hmm. of the voters of Ward 9. So uh, what do you think uh, your first issue might be if you get elected? that you have to you attack? Or well, you the know. very first thing is to make the, help make the Board of Aldermen more functional. Because okay. I mean, without that, everything else doesn't really come into play. I mean, we can talk about the uh, excessive tax burden and spending. Of course, I'm, I'm concerned about that. And, and I think it's a little out of control. But unless the Board of Aldermen can work well to serve as a, an effective counterweight and an overseer of the budgetary process, which is what our charter is, mm -hmm. Then, then it's all for naught. Mm -hmm. You know, you're you're just tilting at windmills at that point. Would you then try to get on the budget committee, or would you uh, subcommittee, or something like that? If you, were? I think I could be very effective on there. Yeah. I, I think I have a lot of experience. I, I've built companies up from literally zero to mm -hmm. five point seven billion dollar <laughs> <laughs> sale and IPO. So I, I mean, literally piece of paper, designing uh, business cards, coming up with the name, getting the website up to that point where, uh -huh. you know, watching your name roll across the NASDAQ How listing. How about that? Yeah. I mean, it's a wide range of experience, which involved, obviously, you know, capital expenditures, but also a significant amount of problem solving, going from zero people to 375 at our peak. Mm. You know. That's quite a nice uh, growth. Yeah. And right now, my current company, you know, started from zero, and you know, we're up to around ten million. Yeah, you're in the restaurant business. Yes, so. Popeyes fried chicken. Very different, <laughs> different set of problems. But once again, um, try to work with really good people, listen to what they have to say, uh -huh. and, and build a business. I'll be a very, very different. Yeah, yeah. Broader set of problems, not as deep as, as engineering, well. but uh, more varied. <laughs> <laughs> it sounds very interesting, and I do wish you luck on. Uh, on your uh, election, uh, Thank getting you. in there. And I think we need something in the town that uh, pays attention to those details that, uh, and, and tries to get a consensus built up uh, instead of just uh, you know, automatically voting for everything. That's well, I don't think them. anybody that does straight tickets or doesn't listen to what people have to say, um, it's, it's just not an intelligent way to use your vote. Okay. I think we're better than that. Ken, any last words for your audience here that uh, you want them to vote for you? I, I just hope that you come out on uh, November 5th and consider me as a, an appropriate candidate. Um, I'm walking around your neighborhood. You can send me an email at ken at kensiegel.com if uh, I don't see you personally. <laughs> and on the 22nd of October at 7 p.m. at Napa East, I'm having a voter meeting for the Ward 9 voters. Please come out. I'm providing free pizza and soda. I don't take campaign no, contributions. No, Papa, you're sick. <laughs> no, uh, yeah, no, uh, no campaign contributions. I'm not going to ask you to do anything. I just want to be able to uh, to meet people that uh, otherwise haven't potentially made up their mind. 
Well, thank you very much for coming on, Ken, and uh, good luck at Napa East. It's a nice place to have something. <laughs> uh, I think it's convenient for people. Yeah. Hopefully. And plus, the, my, uh, my friends own it. So. Oh, okay. Well, that's, uh, I've been there, and it's a very nice restaurant. So uh, thank you again for listening in, and thank you, uh, people. And uh, don't forget, uh, if you want to learn more about the Nashua Republican City Committee, go to nashuagop.org. Thank you. Good night. seating program was provided by an independent producer solely responsible for its content. The opinions expressed do not necessarily represent the views of this station, its staff, board of directors, or underwriters.